Hey everybody, welcome back. Oh my gosh. This one is a crazy awesome automatic knife from Benjamin Knife Company. This is the Claymore. Now this one is the model number 9070SBK-1, which means it's serrated and it has a coated blade. So let's see what it is. It's in the Benchmade black class. So you get it in the black and silver box. Comes in this awesome microfiber Benchmade bag. And of course you have your instruction, care and use manual, life sharp warranty, nice padded box. Let's set all that off to the side. Let's take a look at this beautiful knife. Oh my gosh. I have to tell you this. This thing is pretty amazing. I think it's going to be a super popular knife. Now this is in the Ranger Green handles, and they also offer it in a black handle. The handle's Grivery. As you can hear, it's got texturing here built in. It's got some cool stuff that we'll show you in a minute. Uh, got a nice gray backspacer, deep pocket carry clip, parkerized one. So you're not gonna have to worry about scratches or anything. It's already got that kind of cool use look to it. But look at that. It's got CPM D2 steel. Something new for Benchmade. I like that, it's pretty cool. US manufacturing, you can kind of get the vibe they're going with. This is a military vibe. This is called the Claymore. It's based off of the feel of, the, of course, the Claymore landmines. So it's got a safety switch here and a push button auto. So when this switch is up, you can push down on this. It's locked in, blade's not gonna come out. Now, if you pull this down, and you get a red dot, so you know it's it's live, it's active, it's ready to go. And I'll just tell you what, hold on, because this thing snaps out like crazy. Has an awesome, awesome spring into it. And I have to tell you, I already had somebody that I showed this to drop it. It's just, it springs out like that. You gotta have a good grip, it's ready to go, it fires out. Now the really cool part for me is, it's, it's a thinner version of automatic knives, so it just locks in really good. You have, of course, you have a thumb ramp. You have that jimping for the liners. You also have some on the scales themselves, like I said, our grivery. You can see a little bit of uh, pocketing on the inside of the grivery scales. Helps with weight reduction. Of course, there's that backspacer there. Deep pocket carry clip. Got a barrel spacer there in the middle for support. No flex at all. You can see that cool, cool locking mechanism, how that works. But I'll tell you what, it's got a little Morse code on there on the front. Front towards enemy, FTE. So anyways, some really cool things. Of course, it's got a serrated blade. They only make these in serrated right now. I think if, you know, if they're popular, I hope they put them out in a plain edge as well. It's got a really cool coating on it, on this one. And it's kind of that dark gray um, into black coating. So you can see right there, the 9070, the Benchmade logo. But look at that coating on it. Just really, really cool. Now they call that a cobalt black finish. And this one's the first production. You have the CPM D2 there. I love that US manufactured on there. It's made in the USA by Benchmade Knife Company, of course. And I know some of you, you're going to be like, oh, I'm not a huge fan of the serrations. This takes, this takes somebody to get out of their comfort zone or maybe, you know, try out some serrations. But if you like the push button autos, definitely get one of these in hand. Try it out. Go to your local knife dealer. Check one out. Order one, you know. Always some good return policies out there if you end up not liking it. But hopefully you can carry this where you're at. It's really geared toward, of course, the black class is geared toward military, um, first responder use, those kind of things. I had to pick this one up. Now you can see what it's riding on. Those awesome, huge washers. Now, the blade on this one, 3.6 inches. The thickness on it, 0.114. See how it comes down to a tip there. That beautiful drop point. I like this one. <laughs> Overall open length, 8.6 inches, closed five inches, safety first, ready for some action. Now I'm gonna test this one out. We're gonna do some cutting on it because 
we got to test out the D2 on there, the CPM D2. I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I, I know they are as well to see how this performs for them. I think they're going to get a lot of results, you know, and I think they're going to have a lot of people testing it out as well because, well, they're putting it into the hard use category with the black class. So, you know, the black hardware, black pivot, it all just goes really good with this Ranger Green. Now, honestly, I would have liked to have seen a, a black, you know, push button lock here, but it's what it is. You know, that's how it goes. Maybe they'll do that on one of some of the other models to close it. Obviously, it's locked open. You push this down, you hold it, and you close it. it pops back out. You can lock it. Keep it in your pocket. That way, it's not going to fire out. Keep it in your pocket and rock it. Bam. Good to go. Now, the handle thickness, 0.6 of an inch. So, I'm going to do some comparisons here in a minute. Show you that overall. Now, this one has outperformed in their testing and is their toughest folder to date. Um, and that's the closed brake strength. So I know in the past, like the turret was a good one for them, those kind of things. And we're going to look at a turret because when I first saw this one, and of course this year we're seeing things a lot in catalogs, online, those kind of things. I, I immediately I was like, man, it looks like a kind of a shrunk down version, redesigned a little bit of a turret. So... Yeah, so it's pretty cool. Now this one retails $230. Your local knife dealer or your favorite online knife dealer is gonna have it for a little bit less. So definitely check them out. And let me know down below uh, if this is something that you'd be interested in. Also, if you would go with the black model or if you'd go with the Ranger Green. And let's do a couple knife comparisons. I wanna compare it to a couple knives. Now, of course, we have the beautiful Mini Adamas and this is in the flat earth. So you have that kind of OD green handle. That's pivot to pivot. So you can see the difference on that as well. So it's gonna be longer, but it's gonna be thinner. So the handle's gonna be a lot thicker on the Mini Adamas. We're gonna go Spyderco Pair 3 Lightweight. Just to get an idea of how big it is because the turrets, or I'm sorry, not the turret, the Claymore's new. You know, the turret was out before, it's bigger than this, thicker than this one. So we got to give a good idea and show everybody kind of what it's like. So you have an idea if you want to order it online, because to me, I'm all about like getting hands on with it. You know, it's hard for me to order online without really getting a good idea of it. So there's your full size Benchmade bug out. It's a good comparison there, length and blade. And I want to show you also the thickness of it. So the thickness, compared to a Benchmade bug out, which is already super thin. It's gonna be you know, a little bit bigger, but it's not super thick in comparison. So that's a good one to compare as well. Now, here's the comparison that I want to show, and that is the Benchmade turret. So this is the turret. Obviously this is the Claymore. So to me, it was like almost similar handles. You know, you got, you know, G10 on this. You have gravity on this one, so the weight is way reduced. And the weight on the uh, on the Claymore is only, what, three and a half ounces? 3.5 ounces? So, to me, this was a good comparison with the turret. And you can see the thickness difference. The turret's going to be a lot thicker. So, but overall, I mean, you can, hopefully you can see my comparison and what I was thinking when I was looking at this. I was like, okay, a little bit redesigned. You know, make a little bit lighter. Blades a little bit down. That's not bad. At least in height. So that's good. Um, yeah. So let me know what you guys think of this one. I, I'm i loving it. And it's not, to me, what really makes it is obviously being super snappy. But what really makes it is how light it is. Um, so yeah. It's awesome. I, this is my first little few hours of having it. So I just wanted to get a quick little unboxing out there, let you guys see it, let you guys see what's out there in comparison on a few different knives. And I want to hear your guys' thoughts. You know, I want to hear your guys' thoughts on this one. I know autos are hard for some people, especially where they're living. So it has to be a pass sometimes, definitely. And I understand that. But for those of you that can carry an auto, let me know. You want to go Ranger Green? You want to go Black? options are there. Anyways, you guys, thanks a whole bunch for checking this one out. 
Leave me some comments down below. Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. And hit that notification bell because I'm always doing giveaways. And I'm always hosting a live stream where there's probably going to be a giveaway in there. So, anyways, make sure do something kind for someone. Have an awesome rest of your day. But most importantly, take care.